All right, so what's up to everybody watching? Today is April 9th, 2022, and it's opening day here in Jersey for a spring trout. So I'm at a river, which it looks, the water looks extremely chocolate. And that's because we had a lot of rain last couple of days. So it's gonna be a little bit tougher to catch them. There it goes. First fish of the season. Nice little rainbow. There you go. This setup, I've got my Akuma Avenger 1000 Bait Runner with uh, my St. Croix Trout Series 6 footer, ultralight. And I've got Gamagatsu single egg hooks, which are actually my fave hooks when I'm fishing for trout with eggs. And that's what I'm gonna throw. My first uh, trout that I just caught, I caught it on the uh, Power X, Berkeley Power X. And since the, the water is so dark, you want to make sure you give them something bright. So I'm using the orange right now. So I usually like to put two, even on a single egg hook. You want to hook the eggs just like this. Okay. Hook exposed. You got your split shot and I'm just going to cast it and wait for a bite I do have another setup which I'll be throwing around so basically I'm gonna set it turn the bait runner on and see if I get any bites here that's a hit right there I haven't even set up my other rod yet and I'm on a second trial let's see give him a little bit to eat it and here goes fish on nice there it goes another beautiful spring rainbow right on the power eggs there it goes swallowed it there it goes let me get this guy out boom there you go second trout of the season for my other setup i want to try this appalachian baits which uh, they were sent to me uh, for me to try out by them. So thank you very much. I'm gonna start with this little chartreuse worm. Okay. The old yeller, right from Virginia on a trout magnet setup. I'm gonna fish it this way. See how the bites work out. If not, then I could probably change the presentation to a wacky. This is my St. Croix Trout Series. This is a 5.4 and I have my Shimano Stratic. So I'm going to cast this one around and see if I could get uh, any bites on the Appalachian baits. It'll be the first time I'm trying this bait. Cast it that way, let it drift. You want to find some type of structure. That looks good there see if this trout like this Appalachian baits I came out late afternoon to avoid the uh, the mob and when I got to this this particular spot there were only two anglers fishing all the way down the front where I'm at you actually got to walk a little ways but always pays off for me there were a couple of pops and entice a bite Well, let's prove let's let's see let's see something so now i'm gonna cast my power eggs the same spot where i've been drifting that chartreuse worm and i'm gonna put it down okay turn on the bait runner and let's see if that guy gets hit quick wait for it that's still fishing for trout at its finest let me uh take the worm off and i'm gonna wacky rig it this time you could wacky rig on the trout man and jig head that's not a problem i've done it plenty of times okay maybe they'll like this presentation a little bit better so let me cast this one around while i wait for a bite with the eggs right there 
Yep, there it goes. That's a hit. That's a hit on the eggs. There it goes, there it goes. Look at that. Oh boy. Beautiful. That's a nice hit. He's already hooked. Okay, I usually just let him take it like this guy and fish on. There it goes. That's power eggs. Nice, beautiful fish. Rainbow number three. There is beauty. Beautiful. Third rainbow on the power eggs. Never fell. We got the same eggs on. Cast them in. Leave it and put it right back on my rod holder. And I'm going to continue to fish this other one, hoping that I catch one on this bait now, too. I mean, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And right now, the X, hey, look, another hit. No way. I got another hit there? Yes. Another hit on the eggs. Oh my goodness. Egg is on fire. Just got a hit. And I see my line going that way loose. Yup, I got a hit. And I got a fish on. Let's see. I think I do. Fish on. <laughs> there it goes. Number four. Literally. Right after the other one. Can't make it up, guys. Awesome. There it goes. Well, flip them. And that's fish number four on the power eggs. Orange power eggs, making it happen for opening day. Number four, like I said, limit is six. I am planning to harvest my limit. I usually do for opening day. The power eggs are orange, okay? I've got, I'm using a chartreuse worm. Appalachian Baits did send me an orange worm. So you know what I'm going to do? Maybe it's the orange. So I'm going to take out this guy, the, the chartreuse. All right. Let me see what I got. Uh, they were kind enough to send me. So look, like I said, I do have orange worms. So let me uh, put an orange worm here. Maybe orange It's the trigger today. That could be. I, I've been fishing days that they'll touch one color, they will not touch anything else. So maybe that's the issue today. So it was exciting when you catch, well, to me at least, when you catch fish on a new bait, new lure. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. Seems that today, orange is the color. The green, the chartreuse, they didn't even touch it. Orange, as soon as it lands, they're trying to take them down. I don't know if you guys can see the bobber on my camera, but they are trying to take them. I already missed two fish. This rain came out of nowhere right now. So I'm hoping that I could get my limit within the next 30 minutes. I definitely got a fish on, look at that. Oh boy, that's a, that's a good one. He just took it and took off with it. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Oh, yep, fish on. It's a good, that's a nice one. Nicer one so far today. I oh, know it's a little one, but this guy's a fighter. Wow, it's a little trout. Real small trout. Well, they're all legal, they're all nine inches and up. Uh, this stock here it goes oh what a pretty rainbow gonna get the grand finale with a new bait there that was another hit there you go fish on finally on the new bait Appalachian baits coming through look at that 
Appalachian baits might have happened for this one, guys. Let's see. Flip them! Yes! Nice! Right in his mouth. All right here's my limit, guys. Within probably fishing for an hour and 15 minutes. And I did get this one right here on this worm right here. Okay. Which I'll show you guys the package. You could go, you guys could go ahead and try to get, which is gonna be the copperhead color here. So Appalachian Baits, big shout out. And uh Guys, go out there. It's spring trout here in Jersey in many states. Go go enjoy yourself and uh, see you guys next time. Take it easy. There's the Appalachian baits here. Beautiful rainbow. Okay. Let me get him in here. Oh, 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 oh. There he goes. Appalachian baits this guy hey relax buddy got him on top of the mouth so oh there he goes warm off bam what i say i recommend this bait you know what so far yes it's soft plastic it's working good for me they are getting bites there goes another bite right there there it goes fish on see what i mean it is getting the bites guys Appalachian baits is making it happen right now. Look at that. Look at that beautiful rainbow. Oh, yeah. There he goes. Right on top of his mouth. Perfect. Let me get my net. I can net this guy and release him. Oh, oh that was, that's what you call a quick release. He's gone. Fish on. Appalachian baits. Oh man, he got off. No way. Fish on. Yeah, another one of the Appalachian baits. What is this? Not a trout. What? Green sunfish. There it goes. <laughs>